And that is my title, so that's awesome. Look at this guy. We can see in the background, this is 1930s, it's Germany. This is a crowd that's enthralled, probably with Hitler, or at least the Nazi party. And here's this guy, standing in the crowd, arms crossed, not going along. When we talk about civic engagement, we need to talk about this kind of civic engagement too. The civic engagement that says, I will stand out, I will be different, I will not always go along with the crowd. And we, that facing us ourselves, we're like every organization out here today, we have a lot of digital resources. Teachers can go on our site, they can log in, download resources, whole books, movies, um, sign up for workshops, all sorts of stuff. But we know that that's not enough for civic engagement. We've been in this business for a while, so we know it takes building empathy. It takes relationships. It takes students learning that they can stop and pause, that they need to stop and pause to think about their own choices. And they need to be critical thinkers as they're doing that as well. That's what helps civic engagement happen. Facing History has been around for about 40 years. We've reached almost 4 million students. We're in 150 countries. And you know what? It's not enough, right? There's 7 billion people on this world. And they aren't just physically in these spaces. They're digitally in these spaces. So we need to collectively think about how do we expand that? We know that part of what works is thinking about case studies, looking at the Holocaust, looking at the Armenian Genocide, looking at contemporary issues of bullying, films. LA Film Festival is starting today too, or this week. Right? How do we think about those films to make us do action? We know it works because of people like Rosemary. Rosemary goes to a local school. She came to a facing history, or she had a facing history teacher. And after that, she started pulling her peers with her to the advisory office and the teacher's office if they needed help. She was one of a number that we celebrated a few weeks ago as upstanders in the world. These are amazing people making a difference in LA. So in addition to Rosemary, we have a Vanessa Avali. She is cleaning up MacArthur Park. Those of you in LA know what MacArthur Park is. Vanessa is out there telling people about the services the government is doing, calling the LA government when a light bulb is out. She's doing amazing things. Cynthia Perez at another school, she's already fighting racism. She's already mobilizing against police brutality. These people make a difference. We know it works. We know that they're amazing. These are three stories. How do we tell the stories of four million students? How do we tell the stories? How do we mobilize to get people 400 million stories out there doing these things? Right now, they're making a difference on their school campuses. They're changing school culture in really profound ways. How do we do that with the world? Right? I'm here at this conference because I'm learning from all of you too. And we need to collectively be doing this. Right? Facing History for a while has been working with and looking to learn from people. So people like Joe Kahn and Henry Jenkins, Ethan Zuckerman, from many of the people that are here today or working with other people like this today. We look to the HP Alliance to see what we can learn from you, from the dreamers. We need to be thinking about this together of how do we take civic engagement and the things we know are important for civic engagement and bring it into our world today that is both physical and digital. We look for companies that are doing innovative things too. Right? So Zaption allows us to slow down our thinking, allows us to engage in different ways. What other tools are out there that we can use? What other structures can we use so that we learn from our students as much as they're learning from us? Right? How do we do this in a way that, the, the, in a world that is constantly moving? So we have blogs and social media, but that's only part of the story, right? We're here at this conference. This is only part of the story. How do we keep this conversation going? And I'll give you a couple things that you can do right away if you want to keep this conversation going with us. Because in addition to these social medias, you can subscribe to our blog. You can be part of Educator Innovator Community. We love them. We're part of one of their partners, too. Connected Learning TV is going to feature Facing History in August. So we love that as well. Um, we need to collectively see ways that we can have civic engagement that spans a world that is both physical and digital.